Good afternoon. I'm a little later than usual. Um, just got busy doing some other stuff, but I'm excited because it was stuff that I wanted to get done. And, you know, every day, this happens all the time. As soon as I get on the phone to go live, this boy picks up a bat. So anyhow, oh, I might have to take it from him. But anyhow, yes, I um, really just wanted to focus on some action items and knocking stuff off of my list and getting it done. So I finished up some more setup with my newsletter and um, my autoresponder and things like that. Hi, Erica. Um, oh, and again, I guess I should say my name. I'm Christine Ruiz. Um, of course, you guys can visit my site, christinedeco.com. Um, or you can send me a direct message or, you know, if you ever have questions. But, um, yeah, I'm just really more and more trying to be more effective um, and more productive with my day. So, recently started writing out a schedule, like giving my own self a schedule to make sure I don't spend too much time on one thing and not um, reach my goals for the day or for the week. So I'm finding it to be helpful to give myself a schedule, like scheduling one to two hour blocks of things I'm going to do. Um, but yes, I wanted to talk about uh, today's title or subject is write it down to make it plain. Um, I was actually talking with one of my friends this morning. Oh. Thanks. I don't know if that was you, Erica, that gave me the thumbs up, but thanks. Because sometimes I get all these views and I don't get all these likes. I'm like, I'll just watch them, but you don't like what I have to say? I don't know. Um, but I'm going to keep sharing. But anyhow, writing it down and making it plain. I was actually talking to one of my friends earlier today. Chloe, hold on. Give me this back. Can I have this? Can I have this? Thank you. Thanks. Want to say hi? Say hi, Dane. All right, he wants the bat again, so hopefully he does something else with it. Um, but I was talking with one of my friends, Chloe, today, and um, who's brilliant. She's a seamstress, and she's been spending these last two years traveling the globe, going to different places and meeting new people and um, helping people. Hey! Oh, hi, Tasha. Tasha's my cousin. She's glass, so I'm excited. I think this might be the first time you call me live. Dang, why are you hitting the window? We're going to get through this topic today, but Dane's doing the most, so hold on. Um, can I have this bat? Thank you. There's so many other things to play with, not the bat, okay? Thank you. He's going to harass me until I give it back. Anyhow, um, so she had, you know, her like most people have goals and plans and things that they want to accomplish, and um, one of the things I really believe in, and I've found it to have worked for me in the past, and that's why I continue to do it, is writing stuff down. But I say don't just write down like a list, like I want this, I want that. Really, when time permits, so when you just, you know, sometimes you find yourself you can't go to sleep or something's on your mind and you find yourself being restless, that's the perfect time to get out a piece of paper or if you're more into digital things and you want to write it in, type it in your phone or um, type it up on the computer, you can do that. But really, um, and this is something I challenge you guys all to do, writing out to yourself as if it was present tense. Writing out you experiencing or living or having that thing that is your goal. Um, that's your desire, which you truly see for yourself. Taking the time to do that and write it present tense because oftentimes um, we don't really, you might not really notice it, but we tend to talk and live and past tense or future tense but seldom are we ever really present or speaking in present tense and so I think the beauty in that or the strength in that is when you write it as if it's present tense in your mind you're actually starting to experience it as you write it and then those emotions that are attached with it that makes it real and it makes your 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 brain and your mind feel like okay this this is happening gotta go someone is coming <laughs> all right Tasha well thank you for joining me I hope that was you that gave me a like if not thank you but um um give me a like or a share or anything but really taking the time to do that so of course I like to read and listen to things and one of the books I read let me make sure you didn't leave one of the books I read um a while back was Thinking Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill and he actually had and gave a formula as to how to do it. And I, the funny thing is I had been writing, dang, oh Lord, we're gonna get this back from this child. How about, how about you give me the bat? 
give me the bat and we'll play something else. Here, ball, ball. There you go. I gotta get him to play with some softer toys. Anyhow, um, he, in that book, there's actually a clear formula as to how to do it. Um, but like I was saying, I actually, before I ever read about writing, um, writing your vision or writing your thoughts, it was something that I just started to do anyway. Um, so I did it in my own way. But if anyone is curious or um, hasn't read the book but just kind of wants to know what that activity is and what's the formula um, written out plain for you um, as far as how to do that or just tips, ways to organize that, definitely feel free to send me a direct message, um, write, I don't know, share or write. Um, write it out, make it plain or something, but let me know. Somehow indicate it here um, in the comments or, of course, if you go to my website and sign up for my newsletter, then I'll just, um, I won't mass email that out, but I will send you a direct email and, um, because I actually had a PDF. I used that when I was doing um, a training for a group of people that I work with. So I do kind of have that written out, so I'm more than happy to share it with you all. But, um, and then for anybody who may be watching this now or watches this later, definitely share with me and share with the rest of us if there is something or a time that you wrote out something and then experienced it later on or watched it happen or, you know, because I think that's always good for us to encourage others with our own stories. I'm looking extra willy today. I need to put my scarf on. I'm in the back. Yeah, I'm looking a little woolly. But that's all right. Um, Y'all have seen me better at worse but um yeah I wanted to definitely share that because the idea of write it out and make it plain we often hear that um for those that you know attend a church or in a lot of religious settings we hear write it out and make it plain but it's it's definitely something that I I believe it's not just something that's fun to say um it's real um it's definitely real I've experienced it I've done it and um I've written some things um, recently and in the beginning of this year and actually before the um, new year that I am I'm excited. I'm looking forward to experiencing it, um, being there, uh, not just feeling those feelings well, in my vision but in reality um, in the present tense. So it's something like I said, I it's a lot of different examples in my life where I've experienced it, I've done it, and later on when it comes to pass, it's like mind-blowing. It's very surreal and um, it's rewarding. Um, and I guess this obviously ties into the whole power of the tongue and speaking uh, what you want in life. I know I, the other day I said one of my favorite quotes is, um, speak what you seek until you see what you said. Um, but you know, don't just speak it. Speaking it is fine. Affirmations are awesome. I have affirmations that I say, um, especially if you find yourself just stressed or going into a big presentation or a meeting. There's times when we, it's great to have affirmations to kind of just get your energy back up, get your everything aligned and get, you know, your, your just to kind of get that focus. So affirmations are definitely great, but I also feel like, um, and so many people, so many great people have said it, just writing those things down, it almost is like putting a, another stamp on it. Like it's a true confirmation. Like this is something I believe. This is something I know. And I'm going to experience, I'm going to have it. It's going to come to pass. And me writing it down is just another step to making it concrete, making it real. And then it's just fun to go back. I, I journal a lot. And so that's, you know, typically where... I write down my vision but to go back and read some of the stuff that I wrote to myself or some people might want to want to write it as a letter to God um, but however you write it I think there is something just extremely rewarding and comforting and um, empowering to well, I guess it's also like when we were, you know for people who keep a diary or when you were young and you read a diary although when I read my past diaries as an adult, I kind of was like, what the heck? Um, and I guess it leads me to the inside of a <laughs> preteen teen, teen mind. So sometimes when Ava and Anissa say stuff and I'm like, what are y'all talking about? I, I try to remember and take myself back to the stuff that I would write in my diary. So I'm like, okay, I get it. This is, this is age appropriate. 
But yeah, it's, it's, it's like looking back when you get the chance to look back and read some of the things that you proclaimed and spoke and wrote into your life to live them and realize them. It's an amazing experience. And I think that's one of the reasons why I continue to... Hi, Justin. Um, that's one of the reasons why I try to... I mean, life is life. Um, it's unpredictable. Um, but at the same time, I think seeing those things and evidence of those things is what helps with, or what kind of keeps me in that mindset of having gratitude. Or you guys know I always hashtag attitude of gratitude and mindset of abundance. And it's not, it's not just a hashtag to me. It's truly, uh, it's truly my life. Not even a way of living. It is life for me. Um, focusing on the things that I am grateful for and that I appreciate. Um, and and not just sitting back. I, I take action and I feel like I actively live. Um, but when there are times where things that I feel like I need to just release and let go, I do that too. Um, and even in some of the things that I released and let go or things that were hurtful that I might have experienced, I still honestly in ways am able to find... Um, usually sometimes even in those situations, not all the time, but in those situations there's a situation that I wasn't happy about might have led me to something that has made my life um, so much greater. So, yeah, I definitely just wanted to share that um, as far as write it out and make it plain. When I say make it plain, it's just be very clear. Um, but you don't have to make it short. You can be very detailed. I know I've written pages and pages and pages, details of colors and smells and things I see and how the weather is and how my skin feels and, you know, the smile on my face, all those different details. Is it sunny? Is it raining? Um, just details of the environment, details of the experience of the thing in great detail. Um, and it's just amazing. Um, I can even think of before I was married and stuff, but writing like what my mornings would be like. And so it wasn't even a special experience, but just like an everyday thing. But what my morning would be like, um, how I would feel, sort of the things that I would do, my schedule of my day, things that I, I would even say to my, my future spouse. And um, it's amazing because that is my life right now. Um, and I'm extremely grateful. And I know it's not just me, it's so many other people. So I'm just a big believer in um, if you learn something, if you know something, share it. Um, and of course, my focus is um, mindset. And I work with a lot of small business owners and home business owners and um, online marketers and things like that. But I like to share things that don't just apply to business all the time. Because um, I know I have a lot of friends that I've known from high school and middle school and college that aren't in that category but I feel like um this is something that anyone can do so whether it's writing something uh that's relationship focused or health focused um mentally focused spiritually focused or business focused um because especially for my my businesses I've written down literally to the number of how many consultants um I want to lead and how many customers I want to have and how many clients I want to have and what I want to pour into them, what I want to offer them. Because I think you, you, you can't always focus on what you want to have, but you also got to make some time to think about what you want to give. Hey, Todd, I think that's you. Todd, is that you? Let me know. Say hi. Um, like, write it. Say hi. Um, if that's you, because something just popped up on my screen, but the eyeball is gone. So I might be talking to myself for now. Um, but yeah, uh, even when it comes to business, like writing that out, I, just, I don't just say that I want a certain number or I just want a lot of skincare customers, you know, preferred customers. I say the number of preferred customers. I want something, um, I, I, how many lives I want to impact. And then in return, what I want to offer them, um, not just someone that takes your money and thanks for the transaction, but to be able to reach out to um, my customers, because I, I definitely want my customer base to grow, but I want to be able to still maintain communication, um, just how I am with my customers now, being able to maintain that communication of at least knowing 
who they are, whether I talk to them often or every once in a while, but knowing who they are, what goal they had for themselves um, and their skin or their life or whatnot, and then checking in with them um, as time permits to see how it's going. Is it improving? Are they closer to that goal? Do we need to switch something up? But just being able to maintain um, that relationship. Um, so like I said, you know, we get into business so that we can have money, so that we can get the things we want, um, which is, which, you know, it makes sense. There's nothing wrong with that. But to be able to operate my businesses in a way that is always people first, always people minded, always people focused. Hi, Tammy. Um, always people focused and people minded. Hold on. Dang. I thought he ran up on me like he wanted to to um, contribute to this conversation. But yeah, always one sense to be people focused. And I know the other day I kind of talked about a little bit about branding and how a brand is who you, what you stand for. Um, and branding is the way that you, the ways that you communicate what you stand for. But I think, um, like I said, in a, in a world where there's so many people that multiple consultants for one product or so many people who might sell something, I think the big um, thing and what sort of attracts people to one person versus another is what you stand for and how you are and how you treat people and how you make them feel. Um, and that's just something that's very, very important to me. So I want to, even as my teams grow, as I know they will, still doing things and finding ways to make it a people first, uh, people first mindset and, and operating in that way. So, um, like I said again in the beginning of the video, if anyone is interested or wants kind of like a template of how they can write out their vision um, and be specific, um, but a way to do that in an organized manner, um, definitely feel free, like I said, to write it in the comments, um, send me a direct message, or you can go to my website, christinedeco.com, and sign up for the newsletter. Like I said, for this particular thing, I won't send because it's an attachment, I won't send it in a um, mass newsletter or email blast, but I can and will um, send it to you, email it directly um, as a one-on-one -on -one thing because I definitely feel like it's helped me. Um, it is helping me. It will continue to help me. And I think it's something that's good enough to share with others because I think, you know, if we had way more people who are achieving their goals and and happy and um, living in gratitude, the, the more the merrier, the more the better. Um, maybe there'll be less road rage and less craziness happening. Um, I know we, you know, it's, it's, it's enough. So I think that that can hopefully help some people. But let me know. Everybody's quiet on here today. I see people, but I don't um, know if they're still there, if they popped in and popped out. But yes, definitely feel free to, in the comments, let me know like I said, share with us if you do write out your visions and you do write out um, a plan. Let us know and how it's helped you. And, you know, if you want to give examples, feel free to share. If not, if you just want to say, yes, I've done it, um, that's cool too. But I definitely um, aim for these to be beneficial to people, for people to get, whether it's a, uh, inspiration or confirmation or a new idea or whatever it may be from these videos. Um, I want it to be something that's I want to give value and to, to benefit others, so that's why I take the time and get on here every day. Now he's banging on the windowsill. Um, but yes, I'm going to go get Dane before he does some new construction to our living room. I hope everyone is having a great Thursday. Um, I'm going to have to do a Crock-Pot Chronicle, another one soon. I've got um, Ava's eating something different tonight because she does eat. Um, chicken. I don't. So me and Dana, I'm doing black bean soup and rice. I might go and run and get some plantains. And um, I was just about to slip up and say what I'm making Danny, but I told him it was going to be a surprise. So I can't tell y'all today. I'll tell you tomorrow. But it's cooking. And it's going to be good. And if he watches this later, I'm still not saying what it is, but it's going to be good. So have a great, is it Thursday? Have a great Thursday. Um, and tomorrow we'll talk about something different. I don't know. I write down stuff as far as what I'm going to talk about, but honestly, I really go on how I feel that day. If I listen to something um, in my 
professional development or personal development tapes and something sparks me that I like to share it while it's fresh. Um, so yeah, it varies, but <clears throat> I like, you know, I don't really write down the script. I just say what's on my mind, so who knows, but tomorrow will be Friday. Ooh, hold on. Dane, it's not, okay, well you know what time it is. Milk time. Talk to you guys later. Bye.